Hello, so as promised, um, I have two videos coming up. So this is the first one and this is about my trip to Brazil. I go to Brazil every year. I am Brazilian uh, by birth. So most of my family lives there and I go there once a year to see everyone and whatnot. Um, I filmed some of the things that I saw and the people that I saw are my doggy and stuff. So I'm gonna make a little compilation so you guys can see Rio um, and Curitiba. I'm not very sure how much I filmed of Curitiba. I think I just filmed like the rain. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to make a little compilation so you guys can see everything that I saw. And I'm gonna make another video with the bad stuff. The bad stuff is basically just my trips, going there and coming back. So the airlines let me down big time, but that's going to be for the other video. All right, so enjoy. If you didn't notice yet, I love my dog. I freak out with it. I love it. You are a good girl? Yeah? You're a good girl? Did you see that tail? Did you see? Oh my god, this is so cute. Anyway, more beach. tired of the beach we just went to the hot tub I did while I was in Brazil went to another state called Paraná uh, to a city called Curitiba to visit my best friend who lives there no she doesn't live there her family lives there and it happened that she went there Kind of at the same time that I went to Rio. So I went to meet her there. So I'm from Rio de Janeiro and she's from Paraná. Behold Paraná. It seems like it rains here a lot and this is the city is known for having somewhat all four seasons in one day. You would have pretty chilly wintry weather in the morning, summery weather in the, in the noon time, uh, spring sort of like weather in the middle afternoon, and then some, you know, fall weather late afternoon. I don't want to be unfair. It got sunny later, but it would rain at least once a day. But it got sunny, and it got better, and it's a beautiful city. But I went to Rio. For New Year's and see the fireworks there oh my god I missed it so much it was like 14 years I haven't spent New Year's there so I went to this great rooftop um, family party it was insane and I filmed the fireworks um, that happened everywhere in the city well at least everywhere we could see from where we were and here they are <laughs> So keep watching. It's really awesome. Oh, I love New Year's in Brazil. It's great. Olha lá 
Josh também. on and on and on for like about a half hour everywhere in Rio fireworks everywhere so where we were we could see fireworks in like three or four neighborhoods and then to my left where I was filming there was Copacabana Beach but there was a bunch of trees in the middle I tried to film some but it didn't work out really and I thought that those shots were better I know they're long but as I said it just goes on and on. New Year's is like the most exciting thing as far as fireworks and partying. Everybody's wearing white or like, you know, wishing peace for the new year and all that stuff. So it was a great time. And after New Year's, I still stayed in Brazil for another four days willingly, right? Um, I was supposed to come back on the 4th of January. But the 4th of January at my hometown, New York, had a bit of a surprise for me. There was a crazy snowstorm happening. And I stayed in Brazil for another six days after that because there was no flights to JFK. And definitely once there were flights, everybody who was stuck there with me was trying to get into their flights. So it's just like, you know what? Whenever it happens, it happens. So I end up coming back six days later. Um, a lot of people will be like, Whew, you got stuck, you know, six days in Brazil. That's great. You know, it is. It is really great. I got another six days to spend with my family. However, on the other hand, you know, I had stuff to do. You know, this New York Times money. So it it was a, a bit on on the sucky side, but it was great too, you know. Um, that was my trip, the good part of my trip to Brazil. A lot of beach, a lot of sun, a lot of puppy, um, a lot of fireworks and fun and friends. But there is a very bad part of the trip that I want to talk about on my next video. And there is flying with airlines um, that are based not in the U.S., so I experienced two airlines on this trip, uh, Latam and Avianca. Um, again, this is about my experience. I do not work for any airline that's a competitor. Um, these videos are all about what I experienced with these companies and, and my opinions about it. And I'm gonna post a video about the experiences that I had with both of them and explain to you guys um, why I would never fly with neither of them ever again. I'd rather pay more than to ever save a penny to fly with them. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys whenever I have the time to make the new video. I'm gonna try to make the new video in the next two weeks because I'm going away again for work. Um, and this time I might not have much of uh, computer access, but I will try. Okay. Uh, leave comments, uh, questions in the comment section and subscribe. Um, and if you want ideas for videos, let me know and I will try my best to do the videos that you guys want. All right. Okay. Have a good night.